levator scapular anatomy. The origin from the posterior tubercles of the transverse process of C1 to C4. Insertion into the superior part of the medial border of the scapula. Nerve supply, the dorsal scapular nerve, which is C5, and the cervical nerve, C3 and C4. The dorsal scapular nerve gave innervation to three muscles, the levator scapula, the rhomboides minor, and the rhomboides major. Action, it elevates the scapula and tilt its glenoid cavity inferiorly by rotating the scapula. Synergistics are the rhomboids and the trabezius. You want to see that arrangement of the dorsal scapular nerve as it comes from C5. C5, C6 will give the subclavius. C5, C6, C7 uh, will have the long thoracic nerve and will give the serratus anterior. That's a very important for exams. Lateral winging of the scapula is caused by a defect in the trabezius due to injury of the spinal accessory nerve, usually from lymph node biopsy in the posterior part of the neck. The superior medial scapula drops downwards and laterally. Shoulder is depressed or drooping. In this case, they use Eden Lang transfer, which is lateralized the levator scapula and the rhomboides. You transfer from medial border to lateral border. Now, another important topic is the brachial plexus injury. A pre-ganglionic injury, which is root avulsion, have a worse prognosis. In this pre-ganglionic injury, you will have Horner's syndrome, which is ptosis, meiosis, and hydrosis due to disruption of the sympathetic chain. You will also have medial winging of the scapula due to serratus anterior involvement. You will have loss of muscle supply from the dorsal scapular nerve, which is C5, and probably other cervical nerves like C3 and C4 that will supply the levator scapula and rhomboides. So when you do EMG, you will find loss of innervation to the cervical paraspinal. That is very important. That means it's probably a preganglionic injury. It's probably have a bad prognosis. In addition to that, you will have a normal histamine test. Levator scapula, trigger points, and referred pain. Sometimes they call it the Frankenstein pain. This is an important topic that has been addressed extensively by chiropractor and by physiotherapist. And you can see from uh, the diagram the location of that pain. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.